So I held out on the idea of buying the A6400 for a while. When this first came out, I was sort of persistent on the fact that I needed this because it had better color science, better autofocus, and it was just overall a better camera than what I already had. I shoot on the A6300 and the A6500, so I was convinced I needed this. And then I just sort of brushed it all off and figured, you know, what I have is good enough. Until I heard about a game changing feature and from the best of my knowledge, no other Sony camera has. What's going on? Welcome back everybody. My name is Original Dobo. On my channel, I do drone and tech related content and lately I'm doing a lot of camera related content. So if that's at all interesting, be sure to smash that subscribe button before you leave this video. So I was watching Dunna did it and yeah, I'm going to blame Dunna for me purchasing this because he mentioned something that no other reviewer I saw talk about the A6400 has. He really didn't expand on it any further other than just mentioning it. So I thought I would talk about it and explain why this is a big deal and show you how to enable it on your A6400. And what I'm talking about is auto white balance lock-in. Now you may be saying to yourself, well, why does that really matter? And for me, I shoot interior real estate videos and I go from room to room. And every time I change a room, the color temperature can typically change. Now, why that's a big deal on Sony is because many professionals recommend setting the auto white balance to you know basically a static color temperature for every room that you shoot and for that i'm typically using something like this this is a um, color checker gray card and i have a bunch of different colors on here as well so i can verify that the color white balance is correct for every room i go to but with the a6400 i can leave it in s log i don't have to toggle back and forth between movie mode and manual to set my white balance manually. Basically what I do is I wait for the color temperature to hit what I want it to or put a gray card in front of the camera and then I quickly lock that color temperature down so it doesn't change again. This is a really big deal because it saves me countless time when I'm filming a home and I used it this past week shooting this house and I was just really happy with the results. Now I shoot in S-Log2 exclusively when I'm doing real estate videos and I also use a Ninja Atomos so I can be able to see my exposure on the fly. Every single house that I walk into, I quickly take my laptop out and I build a LUT for that home. So that way I can sort of have a preview of what I'm gonna expect before I take it back to my editing software and know exactly what I'm dealing with. And that works really well for me, but the auto white balance is pretty easy to set up and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So first things first, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go into your menu options and you wanna go over to tab number two, that's the second camera icon, and scroll all the way over to number eight. When you're in number eight, you're going to notice there are two icons there, custom key and custom key for movie. Click on custom key for movie, and you'll see that there's three options of where you can program this to. I have mine set to number three, and I'm just gonna click on that, and you'll see it'll say auto white balance lock hold and auto white balance lock toggle. Now I have mine set to basically this last button, which is the uh, C2 button, which is also the delete button, just because I'm familiar with that. And that's it. So yeah, once white balance, auto white balance is set to the toggle that you have chosen, you're ready to go and enable it. And it's pretty straightforward. When you were recording, all you have to simply do is click on your custom white balance button and you'll notice on the far right hand bottom corner, it'll say AWBL and that means it's locked. And then you just have to remember to unlock it every time you want that temperature to change. And that's really it. And for me, this is a absolute game changing feature because it's going to, again, save me some time and I don't have to worry about setting things with a custom white balance card, but you can bring a white balance card with you just to show in front of the camera in hopes that it will pull up the correct color temperature off of that card. But honestly, I love this and I wish more cameras had it. I hope they bring that to the A6500 since technically this is a successor to the A6300, but not a replacement for the 6500. So I'd love to see Sony add this in there because I think it's an amazing feature and I think all cameras should have it. But I'd like to think Dunna did it for mentioning that because if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't have bought this camera. So thanks. 
And uh, if you enjoyed the content from today, definitely go ahead, smash that like button. And as always, guys, stay original.